car. Mikel Antonio was there yesterday, boys. Oh, at the Jerem Gala. First thing he says to me, no pictures because I've got training tomorrow. Got my phone out straight away. I wasn't going to ask for a picture in the first place. <laughs> ain't going to give me no likes of your hench nose. <laughs> West Ham, if you're watching, night before he was with me, drinking a glass of wine with the shortest K-Rones ever. <laughs> Nick Antonio, you're whack. You can play for Kenya tomorrow. <laughs>I don't know where you came from. You're not on this episode. <laughs> but it's good that you're here because we need to talk about NordVPN, one of the most important services to the making of Filthy at Five. I'm going to explain why. Why? Well, it's a protector. It protects us from malware. All of our editing computers, all of our working computers in our studio, in our office, are protected with NordVPN, have been for years. You were on tour with Pusher. Yes. But uh, myself and Specs and Daz, we were in Barcelona last week. And obviously with the season starting this week, um, we were trying to watch like preseason games. So NordVPN enabled us to switch our virtual locations. So you was in Barca in England? In the UK, mm. yeah. Then we could watch the games that obviously we paid a lot of money for already. Facts. We had a breakthrough of malware years ago. Uh, it cost us a lot of files. It cost us a lot of time. NordVPN became absolutely essential to how we operate Filthy at Five. So we don't lose nothing. So we don't lose anything. So no one can hack into us. No one can find out our secrets. The other, the other guys. It, there's a lot of protection that we have to put in place. Obviously, NordVPN blocks intrusive tracking, which has been a massive part of using the internet over the last few years. There's information that a lot of these companies have that maybe you would rather they didn't have. NordVPN stops them from receiving that information as well. I need that. I never had it on my personal computer. I just thought, I assumed it was really difficult to get it on there, really difficult to program it. Uh, I got it like six months ago. It's super, super simple. I got it across multiple devices now. Okay. Because one account works across different app, different devices. Oh, well, that's it, that's it then. That's all I need to hear, I'm getting it. Um, I don't want my music to leak. You don't. You you can't have your music leaking, but you also just can't have your files being corrupted and your your debit cards and credit cards. Oh my god! Being hacked. They're in yeah. the chain. They're in the keychain. Exactly. Yeah. My NordVPN works across my laptop, my desktop computer, my phone, my tablet. Yeah, I got all of them. You need NordVPN for a football fan. NordVPN is imperative. I mean, T, you're telling them we should get NordVPN. Surely we've got a deal for them. The deal is unreal. What? Yeah, it is. It is. If you click the link in the description right now, there's a special Filthy at Five link. Um, you're going to get a 30-day risk-free money-back guarantee offer. You are not going to claim your money back. No. You will not understand how you ever live without NordVPN on your devices once you've installed it, once you've got it set up. When I realized that I spend more every day on coffee, and I'm, I'll probably spend double the amount on coffee. You drink a lot of coffee. As I would on a monthly subscription to NordVPN. Uh, and I had a scare. I was like, yep, nah, this, let's take this seriously. It's it super hats. cheap. I've, I, I had some malware, okay. I, had, I had some problems. I get sent a lot of links. I got NordVPN on my computer and- Teflon. My phone and my devices. And I, it's, it's a feeling of security that the internet always feels a little bit like- it's, Yeah, it's cheeky. With the football season here, your access to games is crucial. You do not want to miss anything wherever you are in the world. And with Filthy Special Offer, you click the link in the description right now. With every two-year plan purchased, you will be given four months on top. That's across any plan, standard, plus, premium, complete. And you need to make sure that you are getting access to the football and the services and your Netflix and everything else that you've paid for everywhere you go. You need NordVPN. Click the link in the description. You will not regret it. I guarantee it. And we got the deal for you, man. And the deal is in place. Fabrizio Romano. Here we go. Here we go. Hello, 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 hello. Specs, 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 specs. So there's an echo. It should be, it always be echo when you're in that stupid turtleneck and it's yellow. <laughs> I, honest, I can't stand the look of this. He's getting Jerem Gala, that's a... <laughs> T, why are you dressed like this? There's no way you're talking to me about being dressed with 
the clothes you're wearing right now. There's no way. So you're dressed up as Gets at the GM Gala. No, you know, you know the t- that top there. That looks like you know the the bags. You know when you wear, and you got alcohol and they give you the shiny uh, yeah, yeah, bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it oh, is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's corner shop bag. Yeah. Like you're mixing up right now. You're wearing like your army trousers and some banana skin top. Like it's cool. It is what it is, man. I mean, you can wear fatigues with another color though. Yeah, but I've never wore I've never wore a top that like is here. And it's just grabbing me and saying, hey. Oh, you did at the Jaren Gala. I saw how tight that bow tie was. And how long was that? Oh, so you copy. Oh, so you're dressed up as specs of the last. Okay, cool. X rated awards. Okay, I get it. X rated awards. <laughs> X rated awards, <laughs> isn't it? It's nice stop though. Essentials, yeah? It's what? Essentials, Essentials yeah. yeah. It's creased, That's though. big bread, isn't it? It's very yeah. greased, yeah. It's not big, it's not big bread. bread. It's, no, it's yeah. actually very reasonable. Yeah, it's not big bread. It just resells at a dumb price. Oh, I thought Essentials was big bread. PK, these two went to the Jaren Gala. I didn't get invited. I did. You d- no, you didn't, T. So why didn't you go? Exactly. Uh, I had I had injured my left ear real bad in Barcelona. And it was agony until basically this morning when the pain started to go away. But also I got something stuck in my left foot. And also you got to consider if you could find a blazer your size. I got blazers. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen, I've never yeah, seen, I've never seen, seen blazer. a blazer. Actually, I have, I yes, have. you have. I have. I have. It was like a... It was, yeah, but it was ripped. <laughs> <laughs> you know them? Ripped? Yeah, you know, just ripped all here and all that, but he tried to style it out. <laughs> you know, um, Doug, he said to me that like, people, him and Tigo's size, can't get blazers, boy. Yeah, that's why he was in a jean suit. He was in a jean suit? I saw Doug's suit, yeah. yeah. It was kind of cold, to be fair. What do you mean, jean suit? He was wearing a jean, he was wearing a jean suit, suit with fur Jimmy. inside I'm a ne- jean jacket, jean bro. Suit. Yeah, bro. I've never heard of that. Of course you have. I didn't know it was that big, you know? Doug is huge, He's bigger than Tigo. Probably, bro. I didn't know he was that big, bro. He's a beast. Yeah, he's big. He's big, bro, man. That's not a suit, bro. That's a that's a, that's a that's a thing. A gun. A jean jacket. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's a jeans match, though. That's a jean jacket, double denim. Yeah. And mommy said to me that I can't. You can't wear double denim. Why? Why do people? That's say what that? people say. But what are you meant to wear then? If you're wearing jean jacket, what are you meant to wear? Do you know what it is? It's old school, isn't it? They're saying that looks that that looks done now. They don't respect jean suits. Jean suits, yeah, that's what they're called. No, jean jackets. They can't be jeans. So what about the jeans. pants, bro? You just why are you just forget about the bottom jacket half? and jeans. You wore jean jacket and jeans. That's separate. That's 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 not matching. That's not an outfit. I think double denim applies to two different denims. Nah, oh. it's double denim, it's double denim. Any double denim is, is classified as you're wearing double denim. Matching, mixing denim is, is, is kind of cold though. You can wear like a black jeans jacket and like a blue, light, yeah. light blue jeans or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So that's not double, so it's, it's when it's matching. When it's matching, it's double denim. No, that's, I think that's all double denim, but I'm saying, when I'm trying to say, yeah. when it's matching, it's a jean suit. No, if I'm wearing a bow tie, you can't come in a jean suit. What? That's Suge Knight, bro, you can do what you want. Nah, man, even, even Suge Knight was walking that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in black. Yeah, 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 with the red blazer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to say, I respect it. It looked good, but because I was in a bowl tie, I was like, You nah, look man. bad. Who, me? No, I said, Who looked bad? Who looks bad? Wait, uh, wait, no. Let's talk redemption from last year. All right. Redemption. Billy? Redemption. It wasn't redemption. It wasn't redemption. Billy was, Billy, yeah, was actually, yeah. No, nah, Billy, 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 Billy was got right. It was redeem. Right. It was redeem. It wasn't redemption. Yeah, he still got another step to be fully redeemed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's getting there. He's on the path. Yeah, but he, he, he looked right. Last year, he looked like they, they, they were the valet that stole the cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He looked I, feel like, yeah. I feel like it's just, it's just an act, just to show progression. He's, his ankle can twist all the way. Like, he's, he's got an owl ankle. Oh, my. And pedestrious. Yeah, that's, yeah. Lizard, that's lizard, lizard stuff. He's, yeah, so basically, he can, he can put his heel at the front and his feet, the toes at the back. Oh, like spin them, like? Yeah, but with the other foot facing forward. That is bonkers. Why was he sounding like that? Oh, he ain't real, bro. He must have been nervous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's ballet. That's what ballet is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, ballet. that is ballet. Um, last last year, you had uh, Young's Teflon as dressing bad. Yeah, because he looked like he was Billy's partner in crime. It was like they, they looked like they stole the car together. Even though he was wearing your vest. Was he wearing a vest? Yeah, it was a vest underneath a blazer. What? Nah. <laughs> On jar. He was wearing a vest. Oh, yeah, he <laughs> has. He had a full suit. He had a full suit on, innit? Yeah. But he, went, he never had a shirt. On. I never saw him. I never saw him from the front. I was always looking at him from behind. It was a string vest as well. It was a string vest. Can I just say something? I've noticed people keep wearing blazers, trousers, no top underneath. Shirt, I think that. Like, I think that's like cold. That? But you gotta be a sex man to do that. Last year, Lethal B done it. Jay Z did it. John Legend. Something's telling yeah, me. John, John Legend. Legend makes sense. Something's yeah. telling me John Legend. Yeah. <laughs> He's right. I'm not even gonna lie. That's 
a blazer and, and just topless underneath for me is, is, there, is, is bonkers. It's bonkers, bonkers, bro. Because what's your armpits doing? Armpits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> armpits. I'm armpits. not even saying that they can't do it and make it look good, but I, that's not my story. That's not my story, man. I can see you trying it. Me? Yeah, what, if I got hench? Nah, not even. <laughs> <laughs> what, like, topless with a blazer? Down here, yeah. Me? Yeah, I can see it. Guys, I don't know what I say on this show, man. You have got me f***ed up. This is wild. But let me just say this. Margs, I have to give you your flowers. I called him, because I was going to put an African attire, because I didn't know if it was serious. I called Margs. Margs said, nah, bro. Take it seriously. What do you mean? Why is African not serious? It's no, because I always do it, innit? I've never that's the first time I walk, I walked to Bowtie, you know, by the way. It's a big drip, you know. You look clean yourself. Yeah, you look clean still. I can't lie. That's the first time you look like you creamed yourself. <laughs> like, first I cream, time. I cream, I cream myself for ages. James Bond. Bond. Like you didn't buy that straight from the shop. Did you get it tailored or something? Because it fit you properly. Just say yes. Yeah, I did. There you tailored. Go. Um but yeah, you was just with a white blazer. White I think white blazer is a serious statement. Like, I'm going heaven tomorrow. Nah, but you know what it was? I got I got got, man. One of the gallery, oh, the makeup, yeah. On the shoulder. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the problem, I had man. like a little foundation there and everybody that I saw felt the need to tell me and I was like, I, I know. Yeah, what, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah man, that's that. the thing when people say that. you got makeup on you, okay. Yeah, what, what, what now you what? Do you want to go home now? Shall I go home? Did you get a picture before the makeup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah steady, dude. I was clean. It didn't, even, it didn't even stop my flow, bro. I was cooking, man. I'm sorry. Did you get a wine? Yes. I, I, got, I got four. You got four, yeah? Wines, yeah. Dude, that's yeah, more man. than a hat trick. Yeah, but same girl, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know the man. That's, hey, Bobby, that's that's a that's a maneuver. I just got friendly wines. Yeah, just all my brethrens, like gal gal yeah. brethrens. What do you mean friendly wine? <laughs> what do you mean what? Beanos, beanos. Eh, ski. Beanos are saying ski. Nah, man, like Mimi and them gal. Oh yeah. What was Miles wearing? Miles was getting fit for a suit. I said, rah. Miles is coming, Jerry. I was happy. But where are you? I'm at home. What? What's the suit for? My sister's wedding the day after. What the hell is that? You gotta pose that to next week. You can't pose that today. Because people are gonna think people are gonna think he's in the car. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make no sense. It is. He definitely didn't check his mirrors. Boy, boy, stinker though. Stinker. So you know the stairs. Do you upstairs? On the left or the right? Uh, the right. Where it takes you to like the food and that up there. No, I didn't go. You didn't go upstairs. No. Nah. You stayed downstairs the whole time. Yeah. That's why you played a seven. Oh, you know there was more mummies upstairs that didn't come down. Is it? Bro? So that's why you can't play the 10, because you should have. Yeah, yeah, you it's you true. Facts, told me, facts, bro. Facts. bro. He looked like a waiter though, so <laughs> he should have bought you the food. Mummies are wearing skirts, yeah, that. So it doesn't just stop at the ankles. It keeps going. Goes all the way down by, you know what I mean? So they're on the stairs. Look at I <laughs> step, you know I me. Mean? I got, I got the, the lopers. So my front of the lopers step. <laughs> we on the step. <laughs> I'm tripping up, mummies. Got... You, if you've got that, pick it up, hold it up, walk up, mummies. If, if or you've you got to go with a guy oh who's going to carry it a for tease. you. And, who's, and no one was doing that. There was one girl. I stepped on it. I ripped the whole fire started shining. <laughs> I tried to turn around, but my, the front of my shoe is still holding the thing. So it's me. <laughs> you know you talking about like, me, it's me. Had a hard time with that man. Someone was just as Barbie. Is it? You didn't see? No. Pink, feathers, with all the eyes on it and that. I said to myself, what kind of Barbie is this? I said, yeah, I'm just as Barbie. Situation? Said, nah, mommy. Tom, Tom and Jerry's grandma. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tom and Jerry, what? Tom and Jerry's grandma's a situation. Yeah. Right. <laughs> she always had that leg. Yeah, boy. You know, she just a leg. Just a leg in it. Just a leg in the slipper. Oh man, she needs her own podcast. I never seen the Barbie though. You see her? I saw. I saw Barbies there. There's a lot of Barbies there. But we got to talk about Bobby Smurder though. And Fabulous. Oh, he's trying to come with a bulletproof vest. The, the Hoodrich. The silver thing. one, glitter wheel on it. Oh, I thought it was Hoodrich. Was it? Probably, it probably was. Bobby Smurder wearing Hood Hoodrich is a bit, that's a bit mad. No. I don't know, just, it's Bobby Smurder, isn't it? You think, he wears it? You think he's wearing Versace? Bobby lives his best life though, man. He just runs around laughing, having fun, jumping around. Has he dropped around. any music? Does he, does he drop music? His music's awful now, yeah. <laughs> so that's my thing. My thing is, Fabulous, I ain't seen Fabulous do music in years. Bobby Smurders fell off, but you might not stand next to gigs. What's going on? 
Giggs doesn't need Fabulous. Fabulous is still cold though. Today? I mean, in, yeah. Not to say like he's new or whatever, but he's cold because of what he's done. I feel like he was wearing the same thing Doug was wearing. It, similar, similar innit? Innit? Yeah, it could look similar still. What, Danim? Danim? <laughs> Danim? Yeah. All right, well, listen, boys, that's enough GR and Gala talk. Because you know what we're here for today? We are going to talk about this weekend's fixtures. The Premier League's back. I uh, know I'm going to the. Um, well, it's not the weekend. I'm going to. The, I'm going on Monday. Are oh, you going to the Wolves game? Yeah, because they're they're going to get duffed up. They better anyway, because Wolves are in the state in it. Wolves aren't good. I need I need Jeff Ster- I need Jeff Sterling back. I need the commentator from BBC One. I need I need them both back. I want David Attenborough to commentate. The commentator that hit the stairs, man. He just just end the, the season. Oh, Jonathan. No, uh, John Motson. Yeah. Imagine that, David Attenborough commentating on games. No, commentating on games. I think the pace of the game would be too quick for him. David Attenborough, he's got a documentary. He's got about a billion of them. He's the king of documentaries. No, there's a big one right. I've seen on Netflix. Yeah, with his face. But it shows his career for two hours. You see, it? it's new. Yeah, because he's old. It takes he's like old, five bro. years to, he's to old. show his... I saw, I saw his net worth, though. Storm's got more money than him, you know? No, he's got a black... Yeah, because he's got a black girlfriend, that's why. Who? David Attenborough, he's got black wife. I didn't know that, man. That's why, that's why he lost his money, him and Kante. Is that PK facts or is that? Bro, David Attenborough got a black wife and Louis Farouk. Both of them got black Louis wives. Louis Farouk doesn't though, does he? He does, I'm telling you, they got he black wives. He was at wives. Um, the, the Stormzy Gala. Attenborough should have been there. Attenborough should have been where Bobby Schmurder was. David Attenborough's wife died in 1997. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Blackout, just say blackout. <laughs> she died when I was born. I was born in 1997. She died when I was born. Can he be a widow then? Can he be a widow? Yeah. He's probably 10 time champion of widow, bro. He's probably had 10 wives since then, bro. <laughs> 10 time champion. What? No way. David Attenborough's wife died in 1997. <laughs> yes. Oh, Jane my Elizabeth Lord. Ellsworth Oreo. Has he been back outside then? In that, let's no figure out. No does so many documentaries. I'm just saying that. Has he? No, but love, in, love interest though. No, have you seen it though? Like, has he done the red bro, carpet? Bro, them, them award shows, he's, he's chopped. What? Uh, what, he chopped Mimi? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> David had to run Mimi? What? No way. He's Why not, how old are you? I'm 26. 26, so he was 71 when she passed. Oh. They, oh, that's cool, man. How yeah. was, they would put, probably wanted to get for like 50 years or something. Who was 71? David Attenborough. He was 71 in 1997. Oh, he 97. And he's still here. So, so and he went out with Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> so he's chopped that woman then. He's chopped that woman from um, Blind Date then, definitely. Cilla Black? No, yeah, before she went. Did Cilla Black Think die? about them award shows. Think about the red carpet, how long it takes for them to walk across. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's definitely like David Attenborough's definitely got a CD. Did you see when it says "la la la laughs" and all that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's how. Yeah, mm. he was there, top of the pops. He, one, he, David Attenborough is a solid like twenty years older than Cilla Black was though. All right, fifty and seventy. Stay, the big can still shape to you. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. If I'm seventy and I got a fifty-year-old, I'm 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 cooking with gas. She lift you up in that. That's class. Mm. If I drop in the shower, she got me. Yeah. Help me off the wheelchair, straight into the bed. Straight from the wheelchair, straight into missionary. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, RIP to David Attenborough's wife and RIP to Scylla Black. Sorry, man. Uh, let's introduce the panel, because it's a big panel today. Only starters. Geordie's in Birmingham with Pusha T. Yeah, shout out to Geordie, kidding it. Poets in Sweden. Mm-hmm. Um, Miles is at his sister's wedding. Or he's late for the gala. One of the two. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, congratulations to Miles' sister. Um, and Lippy is, obviously he lives in like, Narnia. Northampton or something. I don't know where he lives now. He's on a space right now though. He's on a space, he's, he's live on a, on a space. He's on a space. But what we got is A-listers only. So from my right to my left. Uh, no behavior live show is coming. Tickets are flying out. They're going well. I believe he has one of the most unique plans for a live podcast episode ever. 
that he doesn't want to reveal at this stage, but it does sound very exciting. It's going to be fun, man. Come His name's Margs. Big Mars from the east side of the bridge, your favourite Stratford Ender. You know what it is. Make sure you're there, man. Indigo O2. Go find tickets on his Twitter and his Everywhere. Instagram. And on the O2. Um, what are you wearing? <laughs> White blazer. <laughs> <laughs> With makeup. <laughs> With makeup on it, yeah. The same one. Now, I don't know, you know. I might put a shirt, you know. I might come in grown. I'm, yeah, it's a stage show thing, isn't it? So I might have to get like one of them jackets that gets wears. What, the ones that oh. you don't put your arms in? Yeah. Just He's got a wide range of jackets, so I could, I've got choice. Next on the panel is a man who is struggling to escape these charges. He is the target of Spex's big D freestyle. And Tamza also claims tiny package. Is there a way, boys, and this is actually a good idea. Should we just quickly brainstorm a way for him to beat these charges? If the glove doesn't fit, better quit. <laughs> Why do you think I'm always bareback? Yeah, because it doesn't fit. It's baggy, I guess. Uh, nah, it's stretching. <laughs> it's stretching. OJ Simpson, trust me. These people want to lie, put some Rico cases on me. I'm going to beat the charge. Shout out my attorney. Yeah, that's what's going on. And last but not least on the panel, Spets Gonzalez, he wore a tuxedo and got a lift in the front of a train yesterday. Oh yeah, man, flipping up, boys. What? You, got, you was at the front yeah, of the train? The front of a train, man. What, with Bolt? You know, I, I should say Bolt. Because apparently I had to delete the person that put me in the front of the train because you can get sacked for that. Yeah, yeah of course yeah. you can. So well, let's say Bolt because Bolt's been sacked already. <laughs> 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 That's gross misconduct. This is season four of Filthy at Five. Did you know that? Four it's years, the, yeah. Four, four, fourth four season. seasons. Fourth season. That's a big drip. Yeah. Full Premier League season. Or oh, fourth season. Fourth season of Filthy at five. Do you know what season it is of Filthy Fellas? What? Eleven. Tenth. Almost. I was this close. is our like tenth season. That's quite it, you know. Ten. Yeah. Going so, strong. So we put out more than ten thousand videos. No. Not even. No, we're, we're like five hundred and something. We've only put out 500 and something. <laughs> 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 what the hell? You, need to you used to only be about 33 a year. We need to catch Steve Lentibros like he's um, Colin Maradi. Someone's <laughs> wife needs to Colin die. Colin <laughs> Have you worked out when the thousandth episode is going to be? Thousandth episode? Yeah, because yeah. you would know, right? Because we have to celebrate. In 10 yeah. years, by the looks of it. <laughs> he's Do you believe in 10 years we'll be here? No. Like doing this? No. Some of us won't be here. <laughs> Mark, if you, Mark, if you leave before the thousandth episode, you know how selfish that is. Because because we're at a low capacity today, low f um, frequency, we're going to do a bonus episode where we're going to preview this weekend's football. Because we've never done that before. I, I want to start getting into that on Twitch and on live and that, mm. where we can just link up quickly online and just talk about what's going to happen over the weekend. I didn't see the fixture, so you have to tell me. That's fine. All right, wicked. Burnley versus Manchester City. Boop. I'm, I, I think I'm going. Oh yeah, you are. Yeah, I think I'm going. And PK is hosting the show. I think. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah. So yeah, Burnley are going to lose five nil. They lost six nil last year. Well, first of all, it's the return of the gaps. Gaps in the corners. Gaps yep. in the corners. Yep. And it's going to be interesting because company plays football, so we're going to see a whole new Burnley boy. We are we're going to see the first ever one two at Turf Moor. <laughs> 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 That's just, just tough, isn't it? First game of the season versus the best team in the world, yeah. <laughs> Irrespective of the result, I'd rather, I just want to see what what I could hope to expect. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get any information from that City game. Do you want me to throw you out some uh, players Burnley have brought in? Yes. James Trafford from City, goalkeeper, 19 mil. Mm -hmm. Played in the under 21s. 19 mil. The problem you got with him is Bazunu was basically him the year before at Portsmouth. Southampton brought him up and probably didn't have the best season in the Prem. Trafford was at Bolton, come up. It's a, it's a big ask. Um, they also brought on Michael Obafemi. He's there. Oh, hey, this Burnley team is looking... Oi! Burnley's my team this year. Boys, I'm... You see what... Uh, Felix Craig, you see when he's put Spence Gonzalez, put Burnley at the bottom, please. Please, yeah? Um, and I'll just give you one more. Yeah. Nathan Redmond. Oh, that is renegation for you're, you're kidding me. He's come from, didn't he go Turkey? He went Turkey, yeah. He was cooking in Turkey. He though, did well he? though, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah he was cooking. At least he won a highlight. Worth mentioning though that Ashley Barnes has gone. What? He's gone Norwich. 
But you know what? He's like 32, 33. So he's a championship player now. Like yeah, he'll love it down there. He's a championship. Can I, can I predict the score? Yeah, please. Can I get a score? Burnley, Man City. 1-0 Burnley. Come on. Come on, um, Carrots. That's it. <laughs> I'm going Carrots. 4-0 City. 3-0 City. I'm going to go 1-3 City. 1-3? I can see Burnley scoring oh, the goal. Oh, you're going to score, yeah? Yeah, Wicked, because they, they are going to play good football. Carrots. We're not the Carrots. Oh, can I predict something as well? Yeah. The camera at the 12th minute will go on to Vincent Company and he'll be wearing a Burnley hat. Yeah. That is bent up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say why. <laughs> you don't do the science on that. Uh, next game, uh, Saturday morning, Arsenal versus Nottingham Forest. Forest surprised me last year. I can't lie to you, boys. I don't think they're going to do it again. But their players have definitely gelled now. When you put Joe in the hair, yeah. after a season, the, the gel now is really sinking into the hair's hard. The, the gel's hard. The hair's hard now. You know what I mean? It's I hard. think they're going to be better. I don't think they're going to get ready. I think they'll stay up again. I think I like a lot of their signings. Anthony Alango, that's a good signing. Ola Aina, that's a good signing. But I think they needed a couple more and they needed to lose a couple more. And um, it's just, it's a big ask because the way they've assembled that team last year, I'm just not sure if they can do it again. As long as Party and Rice stop uh, Gibbs White in that space there, it should be 4 5 nil. I think I was, at home, Arsenal should win 4 5 nil. Arsenal took preseason seriously, bro. They were doing press ups. They've been doing press ups every day, man. They're strong. I legit think, and I know you didn't, I don't think anyone here watched it, but that uh, Community Shield game, Arsenal looked so much more powerful and proper without Sinchenko and Jesus. I thought with Jurian Timber left back, which, you know, nonsense in in its own way, just the, the Zerbi thing. But when Man City were coming at Arsenal with Rice and Party there and Havertz up front with the height, they, Man City looked a little bit like, where do we actually go? And I think that, that is a good sign for Arsenal. They have a little bit more physicality, a little bit more height, a little bit more. They look more. It's good, man. More, adult. more yellows. More yellows. More yeah. yellow, definitely. Yeah. Ainsley Maitland Niles has gone Leon. That's one of the, that, that is the worst look of a start. You know that link to Leon? What? What do you mean it's a bad look? Ow. He's going to be like, like is it? Low it, man, Niles, man. Niles should be going like Leicester. Why? Yeah, I don't. I think he. I think he's a top flight player. Yeah, championship is a top. That's top. That's top flight. Let's be real. Championship is better than league. Oh, in many ways, it isn't not it? in the key way, which is overall quality. But it's better, man. Yeah, it's great. Great league. Uh, score marks. Three one, Arsenal. PK two one, Arsenal. Yeah, two one Arsenal. Specs four nil. Yeah, I'm gonna go three nil. I just think Arsenal's gonna pound them. Averts will score. You reckon? Yeah, Averts will score. Next game, Sheffield United versus Crystal Palace. I think that will be a game, you know. Crystal Palace without Zaha, for me, is battle relegation this year for them, but I can't lie. Sheffield United, their signings this year have been Austin Trusty. Do you know who they bought him from? No. Specs? It's Dutch team, isn't it? Marks, you know where they bought Austin Trusty from? He's American. million pounds? American? Yeah. I know this name. Yeah. Orlando. Arsenal. Arsenal. Do you remember when Arsenal signed race, those God. two Americans and they said like Matt Turner and Austin Trusty? Austin Trusty is Sheffield United's biggest sign in the summer. That's the worst surname in f- football history. <laughs> trusty. You know what a trusty is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trusty and beneficiary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Beneficiary. <laughs> I know. Billy Sharp's been released. Yeah, it's about time. <laughs> like, he should have a podcast now with Ben Foster. <laughs> Come on, bro. George Broadbent's gone to Doncaster. I like Doncaster's kit, by the way. Stripes going this way. They're sick. If they still do that anyway. I, I got Sheffield United going down. Is Oli McBurney still there? Oli McBurney's still there. Rian Brewster's still there. Who's, who's P- Palace? Uh, have they played Zaha? Mm, they bought in Jefferson Lerner. Lerma, Lerma. From Bournemouth. From Bournemouth. Good bit of business. And they brought in Matias Franca, who is playing in the midfield. He's Brazilian. Straight from Brazil. I, I think don't he's know like that. Uh, Brazilians for Palace don't sound right. No, it doesn't sound right. <laughs> they need Afman. Is Roy Hodgson still there? Roy Hodgson's still there. Is he on the stairs or anything like that? I know what you're saying. That, that it's about time, isn't it? See, David Attenborough's wife died in 1997. Roy Hodgson's, Roy Hodgson's wife's followers. still with us. If he's got more followers than David Attenborough. What? There's the one with less followers has got a goal. That's the truth. Can't have two old farts just sitting there, bro. One second. Well, Hudson's a serious guy, you know. 
I think Abire is it, Eze is gonna cook for them. I think Eze and Elise now it's on their shoulders. Now there's no gone. Is, uh, ain't Elise sh- um, injured? What for this game? What happened with them stories coming out about them triggering the release clause and all that? Is that nonsense? Is I don't know there? if it's nonsense. I just think um, agents are probably doing their thing. One thing about the Blades at home, their fans are loud. They can be one of the loudest fans in the country. I'll, I'll give I'll give uh, Sheffield United that at home. They'll be good. Um, Milivojevic has been released. James McArthur's been released. Jack Butland's gone to Rangers. And obviously Wilfred Zaha's gone. P- Palace are down to skin and bones. A little bit, yeah. They need to do some business. They definitely... But, but Matthias Franca could be a baller. It's going to be a Sheffield United whitewash. 26 mil they paid for him. Brazilian midfielder. Brazilian, they're buying a Brazilian midfielder. Boy Hudson. Come on, man. That's not his, that's not his star. It has been though. When he came back, they started to play like Roy Hodgson's never played before. And he, is he like Ancelotti? Has he got a son that's really doing all the stuff? It's possible. It he's just trying possible. to get. He's just trying to keep the job, bro. He's doing anything to keep the job. He knows pensions coming soon. Yeah, he's rich. He's got very good his money, and I think he owns a horse. And he's been. He lived in Switzerland when he was Switzerland manager, which means can he's I ask, probably can got ask you hidden book. money. I want to ask you a question because you know I never understood that like white people why they buy horses. Right. Why? Why would you buy a horse? A race horse or a pet horse? I think it's a race horse. Because they make you buy pet horses. Because they make loads of money. Oh, it's a business. So instead of buying property, you buy a horse. I know I know someone who buys horses. I don't know if he's the best businessman in the world though. Should we buy so why do we buy a filthy horse? Horse lessons are expensive. They are. It, um the reason you don't buy a horse is because you have to pay, you buy the horse and then you have to pay a stable, a trainer pay for the food, pay for the transport, pay for the, it's so expensive. Or you could, if you get a good horse, you could breed it. Yeah, or just buy the semen. People buy the just semen? Buy the semen, yeah. Or, if we watch Yellowstone. Or, or can you take, can you take the pipe off and lend it to someone? <laughs> 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 no, PK's blessed. <laughs> well, the pipe is the so same size as you, yeah, bro. Yeah, I know, it's bad, isn't it? Well, to cut off the pipe, you'd need a blade. So who's winning, Blades or Palace? What's the score going to be? Blades or Palace. I'm going Blades 2-0, home win. That's I'm safe. going draw, nil nil. It's a good shout, you know? I'm going nil nil. I, I, I think he's going to hit the crossbar three times. That's a good one, you know? What's the weather forecast in Sheffield? <laughs> no, it's important. It's going to be windy. Actually, it's, it's quite nice this weekend, isn't it? I've yeah, played there, you know. Saturday. I've actually played there, Bramwell Lane. Have you, you played there? Yeah, played there. Bramwell Lane. That's what it is. Definitely called Bramwell Lane, boy. Yeah, you have to say it twice. No, I played there in Bramwell Lane. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'm just making sure that you lot know that it was Bramwell Lane when I played there. Margs, what score you got? 2 1 Palace. Oh, you're going to put pressure on me to back Palace here. And about yeah. Palace 2 0. Team, who do you support now? Because obviously everyone was your team last year and you had to think of that. Who's your team Well, now? Johnny Evans, I'm waiting to see if he signs for Manchester United, then I might go over there. What? Yeah. You might go to Manchester United? Johnny Evans and Mason Mount and Christian Eriksen. I like a lot of their, I like Andre Anana, I had him a football manager. That's patriarchy. <laughs> That's what it is, it's patriarchy. See, you like a black goalkeeper. Oh yeah, of course you do. Of course you do. Um, next game, Bournemouth versus West Ham. Now Bournemouth, Obviously, defied the odds last year, sacked their manager, even though they stayed up. They've brought in Roman Fave from Lyon. They've brought in Justin Cliver. Finally, finally found Wait, a club where it's going to work. No, but he, he, he moves too much. He does. He moves way too much, man. He don't settle nowhere. Is there another Cliver? Patrick. Patrick. No, I'm saying is there another son? Has he got two of them? Yeah, exactly. yeah but they don't kick ball. There's, there's four, I think. Justin Clivert now has have has played for Ajax, Roma, Red Bull, Leipzig, Nice, Valencia, and now AFC Bournemouth. That's not that many teams. Though. He's only twenty four. Bro, he's twenty four, bro. Um, is this the place where he finally puts it all together though? Because uh, his dad spends a lot of time in England. I've seen him. Nah, he's gonna already. get distracted. He's gonna link Craig Mitch. He's gonna be on kick game. Yeah, it's yeah. The chance. beach is up there. Bournemouth drones are smoky as well. You've had sex in Bournemouth before. I've never been. What? You've never been Bournemouth? Bournemouth. No. It's a Bournemouth. It's not far, you should go. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been, I was thinking about it. Bournemouth. I haven't been there. Bournemouth let go, Sir Ricky Dembele, I don't know if you remember him, he won Nike the chance. Sir Ricky? Sir Ricky. His name is Sir Ricky. Sir Ricky. Oh. Uh, obviously Jefferson Lerma's gone. Jordan Zamora left. Remember, he broke in and he was ma- making like £150 a year. Mm. Uh, the, a week fullback, or whatever. Yeah, he's yeah. gone Udinese. He's, oh my God. Um, I don't know a lot of Bournemouth players. Billing. 
Yep. <laughs> Wait, can we can we can we just say that Bournemouth had a good season last year? For them, they they, they did some surprising things. They massively outperformed what they should have done. I don't know if that counts as a good season. It does because they stayed in the Premier League and you can rebuild from that point. They got a new manager though. For them, they had a good season, man. Yeah. What, what what country is the managers from? It's very important. I know. I think he's Spanish. Yeah, I'm not. See, that's the thing, man. When I see Spanish managers that like them kind of teams, Do you think they need a British manager? Yeah, like they need to find out yeah. how. Yeah, uh, with their stadium, they don't need a British manager. Go and get Rooney. He's a uh, Andoni Arola, Arola, Arala. Where did he come from? And he came from Real Vallecano. Oh come on, man! He managed oh. Spain on the thirteen. Spain? Seven, seven separate Spain caps though. I don't remember him, but Vallecano did all right. All right, you know what? And who are they at home? Yeah. We are talking about Bournemouth at home to West Ham. West Ham, obviously, they've only signed Sean Moore from oh, Clifton Mikel Antonio was there yesterday, boys. No, Alvarez just done. All right, the Jerome Gala. Forgot it here, boy. I've got Mikel Antonio. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to expose him, man. Remember what, he said, remember what he said about me in my face, yeah? Yeah. Now I'm going to expose him. Yeah. First thing he says to me, no pictures because I've got training tomorrow. Got my phone out straight away. I was gonna ask for a pitch in the first place. <laughs> they ain't gonna give me no likes, your hench knows. <laughs> West Ham, if you're watching, night before he was with me, drinking a glass of wine with the sweetest K-Rones ever. <laughs> Big Antonio, yo, whack! You can play the Kenya tomorrow. <laughs> Big Antonio is class, and he's still there. That which means that, and Skamaka's not, which means that Antonio won that war. So who was that again? That was, um. West Ham away to Bournemouth. Lanzini's yeah, gone. Oh, gone River. Yeah. Oh, but two two. I'm going two two. Nah, West Ham are winning that. Come on. Bournemouth are dodgy, man. They're dodgy, bro. <laughs> dodgy. Yeah, just when I watch them, there's always there's always something sick going on. Look at Arsenal, they went Emirates and they just scored by the time you sat down. There's they're their mugging David team, Moyes, man. though, man. I think there's gonna I think there's gonna be problems over there. Yeah, there is problems, but I think Moyes and the players have a connection. I think they'll tough it out. I think Moyes is in trouble. I think Moyes is in trouble because they're not backing him. And it's clear that like, even though they, he, they've just won their first trophy in my lifetime, they're not backing the manager who got them that trophy. And they've just sold their best player, by far their best player. Do you think and they're not backing him though? Or do you think there's something else going on? Yeah, uh, both. Right, Edson Alvarez has gone there. Here we go. It's, it's good. I like Edson the Alvarez. The guy, yeah? Yeah. Mm. I like him. I, I used to confuse him and Jack, um, Lissandro Martinez. Mm. Because in, in my head, sometimes I think Lissandro Martinez is Mexican because of Edson Alvarez. They need to get Harry Maguire, man. No. <laughs> They're what? talking about um, Anthony Martial on loan as well. Wow. Is it? Yeah, they need to do that as well. They need to get Martial. Take, take out the Deadwood from United. Uh, I reckon he'll cook there on loan though. Martial? Yeah. Cook on the injury table. Who's West Ham's most successful striker of recent years? Mm, Kanite, Carroll. That's years ago now, you know. You say recent years, Mikel Antonio. Mikel Antonio, man. Mikel Antonio is it. He has to, but even though, he, you know, he did the right back stuff. But to be fair to him, you're going to get strikers in, he's going to outscore them anyway. Yeah, he's always like, going to be. You know what I'm trying to say, that. Like, just. Final score, Bournemouth, West Ham. 2-2. Two, two. Specs. 3-1 PK. to West Ham. Margs. 2-0 Bournemouth. It's tough to predict away res away wins on the opening day, you know. And I've already got Palace getting an away win, so I'm gonna go two two. Bro, you, what are you doing? What's he, what's what are you doing with the worst top ever? That's my score. Oh, did you say that? I'll go of course one. Of that. I'll go one one. Now. You're hot, man. If you're hot, just just lower this, lower, lower the neck part. Uh, next game, Br Brighton versus Luton. Luton in it. Brighton. Moses, I say they're still there, but will he be there by then? Who knows? Uh, Mahmoud Dahoud. There's a lot of buzz around Mahmoud. Yeah, man, he was a wonder kid at Dortmund. That's the winger, isn't it? No, he's a centre mid. Centre mid. Centre mid. Centre mid. Centre mid. Ghanaian. No, he's like Iranian, but he's yeah, Syrian. Like Syrian. 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 Sorry. No, so I don't know the huge name. They got a winger that they said that they said that they unearthed another one in pre-season. There's there's the, an the African English kid. Oh, it's English. There's English. English kid at Black now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, man! But they keep unearthing these little gems, man. Brighton brought in Jao Pedro as well. We watched him. Were you he there when busy. we watched him in pre-season? We said a bit like Gabriel Jesus. Yeah, it looks good. All these Brazilian strikers has got bare work right now. No skill, just yeah, it's true. Just Richarlison, Joao yeah. Pedro, and Gabriel, Gabriel Jesus. Just bare work. They know how to not score. <laughs> yeah, he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be cold though. Joao Pedro is sick. Yeah. yeah, he was at Watford. Yeah, yeah wonder kid. Um, James Milner is at Brighton as well now, but they, but they've lost Alexis McAllister, uh, Robert Sanchez, but he wasn't really starting. Your boy Danny Warbeck will be top scorer this week. 
This week. This week. That that like he's gonna get a couple in those in that game. I like watching Brighton play, but I don't know if I want to watch them bully you think, bully. Bro, Luton. you think Luton are gonna deal with that straight away, first game of the season? No, that's why. I, that's with why Jason I want. still putting his foot on the ball. That's why I won't watch it. I'm trying to work out which one of these three o'clock kickoffs I'm gonna watch. I think we gotta wait and see with Luton. They play three one four two. It's gonna be tricky to play around. They've got that Ryan Giles guy on the left playing left wing back. He got like eleven assists for Middlesbrough last year. Um. Tahi Chong, he's in now. That's his hair. <laughs> That's what I see when he Man plays. Man United hair. fans believe a lot in him. Uh, Marvellous uh, Nakamba never looked like a Prem player. Marvellous Nakamba. But he did great for the Luton second half of last season. Um, I, I, you remember when Sheffield United came up and they had the marauding centre back and no one knew how to deal with it and they nearly got Europe and all that and yeah, I think Scorcher yeah. came on filthy and said that Oh um, yeah, the manager should. Yeah, Chris Wilder was the best manager yeah. in the league, and that. I'm just, I'm just waiting to see. I want to see Luton play football. Innit? I ain't seen Luton play. Who did they I beat? See, I saw Sunderland. Them play the did, they beat, did they beat Sunderland? Or was it Coventry? Coventry. Well, I wasn't too impressed. No, they, no, they were they were hard to watch last year. Bear in mind, eight percent of properties in Luton. When you do a survey report, damp. <laughs> 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 I want I want it to work. I want it to work. Kenilworth Road has got houses in it. Luton's rough, you know. What? Luton's rough. It's not a good game, you what? know. What? It's PK's church, yeah. That's like his second home. Who said it's my second home? Luton. He spent a lot of time in Luton. I a lot of them, them, a lot of them Luton, northwest. Like, it's like it's close. They they all commute over there and they they. they? The northwest lot oh. and all that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah, like yeah. they all moved there. They all lived there. Yeah, that's like, where like, lives. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not a joke. So they might have something about them. I'm waiting to see on Luton. I don't think they're the worst team in the league and maybe they can surprise us just by playing a completely different style to everyone else. You think you can play 3-1-4-2 with the Zerbys, the width, the, the high stretches the pitch? No, the Zerbys going to pick them off. This, yeah. The Zerbys going to have a field day, man. This is like, good, isn't he? He's good, man. He's, he's good. He's one of the best. He's good. Um, Margs, final score, Brighton, Luton. 3-0, Brighton. PK? 2-0, Brighton. Specs. That's a wild one. I want to help Luton, innit? Yeah. Damp. <laughs> <laughs> one nil Brighton. I'm going to go 4 1 Brighton. I just think um, they'll score a couple goals late as well. I can't wait till I get all these predictions right and I retweet. I can't wait. Next, we've got Everton versus Fulham. Surely that's the one I watch. Has for to some be, right? reason, every first game of the season at Goodison Park for Everton is always a stink. I remember when Paul Wintz. Was manager of Blackburn Rovers. He plays against Everton. First game of the season wins 3 2. It's always good to support Arsenal. Do you remember when Arsenal went and beat them 6 0? Then they also scored from the halfway line. 6 1, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Everton. When they 1 0 up. Everton 1 0 up. Everton f- was, was 6 0, in it? 6 1. So um, Everton for me, first game of the season, they always flop. But I love Sean Dyche. He's a Burnley legend. But this has summer, he got the striker yet? Have you seen who they've signed this summer? Go on, go on, say it. Ashley Young. That's a great signing. Good signing, yeah, yeah. I'm not mad at that. And Arna Dunjuma. Not bad. Not really plugging the problems uh, they yeah. had, though, is it? They've lost Yerry Mina. They've lost Andros Townsend. They've lost Ellis Sims. They sent to Coventry. Played the other day. Didn't play great. Uh, Niels Nkunku. They didn't play him anyway. That sounds like addition by subtraction, if you ask me. M- maybe. Tom Davies. Tom Davies is unemployed. How come? I don't know. Is that the blonde boy? Yeah. When they rating him? Wonder Kid. WK all day. Yeah. So why did they let him go? No, he refused the contract, but he hasn't picked up a new deal. Oh, he's going to Saudi? I reckon he'll probably rock up at Forest. He can't go to Saudi like and wear all that. He can't wear all that in Saudi, but Blaze up to here now. Apparently they um they play in Saudi, but live in Bahrain. What, a lot of players? Mm. Yeah, but that's speculation though, man. That is speculation. That's chat GBT. That is chat GBT, that is true. Uh, Fulham, Fulham brought in Raul Jimenez. Mitrovic has started training again. I don't know if you saw he went on strike because oh, they rejected thought, a Saudi bid. I thought, the, I thought the Saudis came back in. The Saudis are bidding for him and Marco Silva. And they want Willian. And they want Willian. Willian just signed a contract 10 days ago and now he's trying to tell the club to let me go to Saudi. So he's I know sick. when this happens on Foot Manager, people turn late to training. Like it's unorganised. No one cares now. They don't flush. So, yeah. <laughs> so I think Fulham are a, a bit in a mess. I, right I worry about Fulham. That, but Calvin Bassey though. I like Calvin Bassey. Yeah, he's it's coming Polina's from my ex. Who? 
Paulista, Paulinho? Paulina's still there, yeah. West Ham bid, but they rejected it. Why are you worried about Fulham? They're all right. Because the manager's subject to a transfer bid. Yeah, but he don't want to go. That's not usual. Uh, He'll want to go when the bread's there. It's a good team, but they overperformed last year. They had a striker who was scoring the goals. I think they're like 6% better or 60% better results with Mitrovic in the side than without him. Like, they're just very reliant on him. Losing him is a big one. Vinicius is still there, I believe, yeah, yeah. He ain't all that though, is he? None of, none of them are. Brazil's, the diff- Brazil's different now, bro. The war is in Brazil. Brazil's different. got a predator, like a, well, I mean, wrong choice. Yeah, Eric. Have they got like Eric, a Eric. striker? He's Eric. gone with Madrid. He's like 17. Right, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Hendrik. <laughs> they, found, they found a 16 year old, they're forcing. Eric. They got one called Keith. No, as his well. name's not Eric. Endrick. Endrick, yeah. No, they got a Keith. They got Keith. And a Clive. And a Sean. Yeah, you see, they're changing up. Yeah, that's different. Because, like, look at now, Foden, the, those are guys that are um, silky and that. Yeah. The Brazilians True. ain't silky. No, they're, they're direct. Smith Rowe, workers. Silky. Smith Rowe's footwork in that uh, mad. community show the other day was crazy. Don't say it to Miles. His Don't feet are moving to fast right now, yeah. Um, Everton, Fulham, final score, Specs. Marco Silva makes his return to Goodison Park. Yeah. He got sacked like some man had been on this show. Sean Dyche. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't want to cough. Oh my God, it's tough. I'm going to go 3 2 Everton. Wow, that's, that's good. But Fulham will be 2 0 up. Oh, wow. Gwack Manil will turn this game around. Okay. I'm saying PK. Fulham are going to be 2 0 up, but they're going to keep it. Stay at 2 0. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Can I say a score or draw if I don't know what score? No, just say a score. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. I'm going to go with 2-1 to Everton, I think. Arna Danjuna, Danjuma, who turned his back on Everton when they needed him in January, is now going to come in, having flopped at Tottenham, and he's going to be a four. hero and score a goal. This is why Everton signed Juma. Newcastle United are playing Aston Villa. Ooh, That's going to be a good game. Villa's winning this. Villa is my team. Elidaza. Even though Newcastle brought in two of your favourite players. Which is? Harvey Barnes. Yeah. And Sandro Tonali. <sighs> is he the truth, the Tonali guy? It'd be interesting because he didn't want to go and Italians never work in the Prem. Villa this season for me, honestly, getting top five. They could do it. They've got a good gaffer. Aston Villa's transfers this summer Matt. have been serious. Diaby. Pa- Pau Torres. Yeah. Musa Diaby. Uh, Rico Richards. I'm guessing that's a youth uh, focus. Yuri Tillemans. We like Yuri. Where's, where's this come from though, Villa? Like, I don't get it. Like, where, like, how did they just... I think they had a good person in charge of transfers. Then Steven Gerrard came along and up, signed his mates and was rubbish. Then they put a good manager in and the good manager was like, oh, you've actually got good players here. Let's build more around the good players and Philip Coutinho, you dust out. And it's just actually a good team. Like, look, think about it. Dinya came in, Mings, Pau Torres, Diego Carlos is the other centre back, Consa. Consa. Um, that's good. That's really good defenders. There's a good goalkeeper, yeah. um, Emi Martinez, uh, Douglas Luiz, good midf- It's just good. The yeah. whole team's good. If you could go through the whole thing, and they got options up front as well. I can't wait for Burnley to, to turn out like Newcastle and Villa. I can't wait. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if because I, I risked it last year and it worked. I don't know if I'm still on this Newcastle train. I'm I'm off it. No, but they've improved I'm their squad you. though. They've improved their squad though. They have, but it's risky now. Like I've, I've done it. I called it. I got it right. I think I should just leave it now. We've got we've got <laughs> you know what I'm saying? we've got a big D predictions episode coming right this in this early stage of the season. Just chill. What you think I'm sitting out? <laughs> I ain't seen that. But, but um, I think there is a conversation to be had about who the first big club manager to get sacked is. And I, d- I don't think Unai Emery's in that conversation. I do think Eddie Howe's in that You're conversation. You're kidding me. They get rid of Eddie Howe, do they get the Zerbi then? Exactly. But there's so, there's so many places that Newcastle can go uh, with a manager. He's always going to be at risk because of the money they got. That, that's just the way it is. And he's got a documentary on Amazon Prime. Is it? That's always a bad sign. That might help. I want to watch that. Newcastle obviously now without St. Maximin, Chris Wood's gone permanently, Matty Longstaff's been released, Kieran Clark's been released, Jamal Lewis is on loan at Watford. Again, this sounds like addition by subtraction to me. Mm, maybe. Can't believe the cells are still there. Go on then, this, this is probably the toughest, this is probably the tough, ooh, the second toughest game to call this week. Newcastle Villa, what are you saying, Marks? That's a tie of the day. I'm going Newcastle 2-1. 
Ooh, PK? Newcastle 2 1. Specs? Part of me saying 1 0. Yeah. Part, saying, part of me saying 2 1 to Villa. 2 1 Villa, I'm going. Emery, go Emery win. I'm going 3 1. Newcastle. That place is going to be rocking. 1 0. 1 0. 1 0. 1 0. I said 2 1 Villa, but 1 0. I like both those teams, but I just think the way Ishak's been playing. I think Callum Wilson's going to score. He's Wilson's good. I want him to stay fit for one whole season. He should come on this show as well. Come on, man. Put um, on. Next game is Brentford versus Tottenham. Oh, this is Sunday, right? This is a Sunday fixture. Obviously, Tottenham have done big... Uh, sorry, Brentford have done big business. Nathan Collins. This Ven, what's his name? Ven... 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 Han... Ven... Han... Ven... This... Who? This, this, huh? this, this guy that... Um, Tottenham's supposed to be getting. Is he a centre back? No, wait. Let's do let's do Brentford first. Sorry, go on. Um, Nathan Collins, Romeo Beckham is permanent now. Yep, he's staying. <laughs> no, and he's got a top delivery as well. Mark Flecken uh, is their new goalkeeper. They they replaced Raya before Raya even wanted to go. Um, Kevin Sharda is in. Obviously, he was there on loan last year. He was, wasn't he? Don't know. Yeah, from Freiburg. Um, but Pontus Janssen's gone. He was a Big experienced player for them. Um, but then the rest of the players that they've let go are probably not the worst. See, talking so about I think that Thomas much. Frank, I think he's done, do you? It's, it's like me with Vela Bremen. Sometimes you have a club for too I, long. You're just he's like, a oh. good coach, yeah. And everybody's talking about I haven't told anyone I want to want to. I just think that is a well run club and it's a good coach and I think they're going to be all right. All their alternative strikers want to play support striker or wide. It's tough to get goals when your guy is a guy. And they played long balls. That they, 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 played, they sprayed out from Rea to Tony. Where are they spraying out to now? Do you, think that's, do you think what? you think they're contenders for relegation? I think I'd, I think they're in the, the conversation, yeah. I think because, yeah. yeah. I, I think, think bottom Ivan, six conversation. I think, I think I'd say when we get to like October, I think people are going to start trying to get Ivan Tony back. Like they're going to try and cut his sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Like tag. Yeah, but they're, they're also teams, teams with money, teams with money who are going to be in rough positions, they're going to look at that and be like, "We need to go get Ivan Tony." Ivan Tony, no Ivan Tony, no festival. That's the first date. No fifty. Yeah, so it can't run. Uh, Tottenham though, obviously they permanently got Dan Kulusevski, but they bought in James Madison. They've needed James Madison. I remember when that broke down last summer, thinking, "Oh, that's what Tottenham needed as well." Madison is good, man. Mm. It'll be interesting to see if he plays wide, though. Leicester, they 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 hit him because he's got him he's, he's got he's got a lot about him, you know. A player like that could change not not to say like change the whole team. It could he could he could impact them a lot. They could be different. Yeah, they needed him. They needed him last year. They need him now. Uh, Manuel Solomon, who did really well at Fulham on loan from Shakhtar last year, second half of the season, he's joined on a free. Um, Guglielmo Vicario, who? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Giggle. They're just saying, they're just getting guys now. This is the this is the bit where they're just getting guys. Giglielmo Vaccaro is the new goalkeeper because um he got a recent done, hasn't he? So Kane's gone, yeah. Thank God. No, they just they just rejected they just rejected the latest bid. He needs to take control of his career and walk out of there on a free. He needs to st- he needs to stop going training. That's what he needs to do. He needs to stop going training and stay out yard to play FIFA. Mickey van der Ven is a centre back. Yeah, he's a pacey centre back. He is a centre back, yeah. Yeah. Is he good? You, you sure? I thought he was a striker this whole time, and then I saw someone putting a video of him doing go- a goal line clearance. I was like, well, he must be rapid. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ange Postatoglu, whatever his name is, I'll, I'll get that. I'll figure that out eventually. When I look at him, I, like I see shades of like Nuno. It's for we were at Tottenham way. I feel like you're gonna get sacked in two months. I'm choosing to believe in him. I want to because he's he's Aussie. We love Aussies, you know what I mean? But also he's the first Tottenham manager since like Pochettino. Even not even Pochettino to the degree, he wants to play football. The wing backs they've got he's got a problem with wing backs. He he played Ben Davies at centre back in pre season. That's not that's not sustainable. There's reports saying that he doesn't want to start Eric Dyer at centre back. Are they looking four, good though? Four. Wow. Not necessarily, no. This guy's supposed to be a serial winner, though, isn't it? Yeah. Like, he's won everywhere he's gone. Um, he just hasn't New gone Zealand, anywhere serious. Um, where else? Sweden, Sweden. Celtic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Scotland. 
He just wins. I'll be real with you. In school, like primary school, I felt like my Oz, Australian teachers or New Zealand teachers, I listened to them more than the English teachers. Didn't you go to Japan as well? Sure. Huh? Sure. Do you know what I mean? The way they used to teach, it was it used to stick in my brain. You know what I mean? So what do you think is going to work? Because like, the accent. Know, two plus two is four. What accent's that? That's a, that's a stock port. Two that's plus a... two is four. If you go to the shop and you buy sweets for four pounds, uh, no. That's South Africa now. That's not, that's not anything. Of course he was at Japan, bruv. He used to manage the Yokohama Mariners or Marinos or something. He's gone to every bad league. <laughs> it must be tough if you're an Australian manager. You've got to claw your way to the Prem. He won in, I think he won the league in Greece. He's won the league in Greece, Australia and Japan and Scotland. Four. He's a serial winner. What's his name? And Pontus Koskos. You know when they say Jesus, B, um, uh, what's it called again? A B-Tech counts for six GCSEs. Yes. That's what it is, lad. That don't count. Them GMBQ. Leads. He's going to be going mad at them in the change rooms, though, isn't it? I'm a winner! <laughs> I don't have to accept this shit. Say, shut up, man. Go back to Japan, mid boy. Jed Spence is allegedly on the transfer list. That's horrid, man. Mm. Why, why have they done it wrong, man? I think it's because they bought wingbacks. And that's what Tottenham have been doing since Mourinho, buying wingbacks. Now they've got a manager who's like, I don't want wingbacks. And they're going, can we start clearing out these wingbacks? Because they ain't going to play for me. And I think it's just Jed Spence is probably on the depth chart that's a little bit too low. And they've just started, good. who wants wingbacks? Anyone want one? He didn't even, did he go, he didn't even go out alone, didn't he? He did. He went, he went to France. Ah. He did well. Actually, allegedly. yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to pretend. But I saw him play one game against PSG, played well. Yeah, I'm not going to pretend like I watched him out there, but... Uh, Brentford, Tottenham, Specs, what's the final score going to be? The score I'm going to go with. Nah, no, I haven't told you no festival, man. Yeah, agreed. 2 0 Spurs. Kane double. I'm, I'm going 2 1 to Tottenham. Mugs. I was going to say 2 0 Brentford, but Harry Kane's there. Harry Kane going to do another lap of honour at the end of the game. Maybe. So 2 2 1 Brentford. I'm going to go 2 0 Tottenham. I reckon Harry Kane don't play. Oi. With Charleston debut golden. Wait there, we, there has to be a short result, right? Opening day of the season, opening weekend. There's going to be a result that we didn't expect. Well, how about we go to the next game and see if that can provide it. Chelsea versus Liverpool. And Cuckoo. That's a um, that's a clash of heavyweights though, man. So that's not a shock if either Is one Is Chelsea wins. a heavyweight? I believe they, they, are, only man. Say, they are. I only say that to say this. Okay. Their list of players that they've lost this year or got rid of this year. Kai Havertz, Macho Kovacic, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Mason Mount, Christian Pulisic, Ethan Ampadu, Kaladu Koulibaly, Edouard Mendy, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Cesar Azpilicueta, N'Golo Kante, Baba Rahman, and then it's a load of players that probably t t t uh, Timue Bakayoko finally left. A lot of houses for sale. A lot of things. A lot of houses for sale, boy. The players that they brought in, Axel de Sassi, Nicholas Jackson, Christopher Nkunku, uh, Kendry Page. It's, uh, funny, it's funny how when the mortgage rates goes up, but all these players now decide, I've got, to leave, I've got to leave. I've got to go. I'm hearing they're saying that the Sassy's like um, he's like a black Harry Maguire. <laughs> what? That means he's bad. <laughs> I don't know, boy. But they got Robert Sanchez. Well, you Leslie. Mean, you mean? No, I mean oh, bad. Oh, <laughs> Leslie Og 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 Chukwu. Uh, See, don't stop trying to pronounce these Nigerian names. Ogachukwu. You're going to make you sneeze. Ogachukwu. Now, seriously, who's, who's, who's Chelsea starting 11? Uh. Um, in goal, Kepa. Left back, Chilwell. Right back, James. That's cool. Centre backs, Badi, Yashile, and Thiago Silva. Okay, that's still all right. If they play four. Yeah, but that, that's, that's, that's still Pochettino good. Pochettino plays four. And then, and then, what, three in the midfield, Enzo. Enzo and... Um, Gallagher. Yeah, but they're trying to get rid of Gallagher. They're trying to get Sosedo, no? They're trying to get Sosedo this week. Gallagher played really well in preseason. I watched him. I told you, crowd. I like Gallagher, man. I think he's good, man. I told you, man. Get him to replace Rodri. But we'll go We'll go Liverpool now. Liverpool get one injury. Bro, that's they what I'm saying. Liverpool is big skinny. trouble. Liverpool, yeah, skinny bones. Liverpool, the loss of the Liverpool have made that is, is actually big trouble in Little China. You're talking about losing Jordan Henderson, Roberto Firmino, Naby Keita, James Milner, Alex Oxlade, Chamberlain, Fabio Carvalho. Calvin Ramsey went on loan to Preston, which I didn't know till today. Um... And they've only brought in Alexis McAllister and Dominic Schoberslai. And McAllister's done. McAllister's miss, gonna miss the start of the season, right? Is he injured? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he did in pre. I'm sure see, he did in preseason. See this. See now, I'm saying to myself, if Liverpool don't buy this week or whatever, I think the club is gonna walk out. Um, Schoberslai has been playing on the wing a lot. Oh, is it? So, so people think he's a solution in midfield. Some people look at that and think maybe he's not a solution in midfield. Um, 
they're talking about Romeo Lavia. Apparently, they don't want to spend the money. Do you think they get Lavia done? He didn't have play to. as well the other day. He didn't know? come off the bench, yeah. But so, so they might be saving him. All right, so let's say they don't get Lavia. Just give me their midfield right now. Curtis Jones, Alexis McAllister. Ben Cheke. And probably, yeah, B- Badgetic. Badgetic, Badgetic, that's it. So who's the ball winner there? Oh, Badgetic, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's a lot. Arsenal, the Arsenal guys will body those guys. Okay. And let's cop saying to the midfield, you lot, you lot, get the ball, just give it to my front three. Thiago's still there. Oh, T, come on, Thiago's still where? He wasn't there in the first place. Yeah, that's let's fair. be frank. We can be let's frank. Be frank. Let's be frank, let's be Jones. <laughs> I was um, going to say Sinatra. All right, Chelsea versus Liverpool. Is there a surprise there? I think there's going to be goals, man. I think there's going to be goals galore. I think, is the Chelsea window open still open after that game? So I think that's going to... Remember when Arsenal <laughs> played Man United with, with, a, with skin and bones and Wenger went and let's go and get Mersaka. I think one of those managers is going to do that. It's going to be Klopp. I, you, what you saying makes sense. Klopp's going to be like, nope. Klopp's going to end up just going for El Nenny. Like on Monday, he's just gonna gamble. Go on, and you said four three to someone. Pick one. Chelsea. Said. Chelsea. Mm. I'm going Pico. four two two. Chelsea. Oof. Bruh. Marks. I think um, Poch is gonna surprise us, and they're gonna get off to a flyer. I think they're gonna score three goals at home. But Klopp and experience scores four. No, they're gonna score three two. Oh, uh, three all. Yeah. That's how, that. Those Chelsea versus Liverpool is usually good in the league, but bad in cups. I think he's going to be thrilling and we're going to have to walk away with a point apiece. I think Liverpool are going to win. I think um, they got Mo Salah and they got Virgil van Dijk, Canate, Andrew Robertson, Trent, Alisson. I've seen him in pre-season. I don't think Chelsea have got enough of a midfield for it to be that's the day where Chelsea, where Liverpool's midfield crumbles. They should be okay. Even though your boy Henderson's gone. I don't, well, I don't know why he'd bring him up. He's not here anymore. I don't care. <laughs> oh, he don't care now, yeah? Okay, you don't care now after you got his book. Liverpool to win 2 1. I don't care about that. Why are you not talking about this guy? Are you going to buy his book in you Arabic lot, writing? You lot are obsessed with this guy. Are you going to buy his book in Arabic writing? You've got to read from right to left. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you're, you're the, shouldn't have bought his book in the first place. You lot are obsessed with this guy. And the last but not least fixture of the weekend, Marks is going to be there. It's Manchester United versus Wolverhampton well, Wanderers. Monday's the weekend now, yeah? Mason Mount's in. Good. Great signing. In my opinion, Andre Anana's in. Great signing. Great signing, in my opinion. Johnny Evans. Oh, great potential signing, great signing. In my opinion, Rasmus Hoyland. We don't great know. signing because I just Man United needed some fun up front. They needed some energy. They needed something to happen. They needed it, but they now are without Axel Twanzebe. They've lost Phil Jones. David De Gea is on holiday. Ethan Goldbraith. He's gone to Leighton Orient. That's my friend. He follows me, yep. you know. That's my friend. Charlie Savage has now gone to Reading. Alex Tellers has gone to Al Nasser. Ethan Laird has gone to Birmingham. Zidane Iqbal has gone to Utrecht. And Anthony Alang has gone to Nottingham Forest. Obviously, William Fish went to Hibs on loan, but he'll be back. <laughs> so, uh, we ain't lost nothing, basically, is what he's saying. Dab Ho- the hair, but... Yeah, yeah we'll be all, he'll be all right. Hopefully, um, Van der Beek and... And Fred get out of there too. And Maguire. Then we bring in Tolibo. Tolibo. Or whatever his name is. Um, Amrabat. All that stuff. But anyway, we're going to battle Wolves. Well, let's go with what Wolves has done. Wolves have lost Ryan Giles. He was on loan at Middlesbrough anyway, but I think he's going to be decent for Luton. Connor Cody's gone. Nathan Collins has gone. Raheem Jimenez has gone. Ruben Neves is gone. Um, Diego Costa's gone. Jean Martinho's gone. The gaffer's talking about walking, you know. He always walks Lopetaish, if his name is. He always goes, well, he's managed with Madrid for three hours and left. They brought in Babacar Traore from Mets. Bad name. They brought in Matt Doherty from Atletico Madrid. Matt Doherty back at Wolves. Back at Wolves. <laughs> yeah. Backlash. And Tom King's coming from Northampton. He said the, the mortgage rates are going down, he's come back. I, I, I said Brentford are in that bottom six race. I think Wolves are in the bottom three race. I think Wolves get ready. I think they, I think they hit rock bottom. Boys, I'm going for a big one. Yeah. I think Man United are going to go, like, it's going to be a 7 0 win. Oh, I can see it. it like, it's, it's, remember, it's in the dark. That's true. It's in the dark. Everyone's yeah. watching. Yeah. I can see Man United having a field day on Twitter. But I also can see Man United having a stinker on a Monday night. Casemiro, Mount, and Bruno against a midfield that doesn't have Matinho or Neves. 
It's true, isn't it? They're going to absolutely dominate him. Margs, what's the final score? 3 0 United. PK? Man United versus Wolves? 2 0. 2. To Man United. Specs? 6 6. Six nil. I was gonna go five. I think it's gonna be five. Six nil. Yeah, we should do them. We should do them. If you lot striker doesn't perform, you lot ain't a ch- is. Yeah, he, ain't gonna, he ain't gonna play anyway. You've got the new Nicholas Bentner. Only Nicholas Bentner's top scorer, Denmark. If, if, I'm sweating. Bentner was good until he put pink boots on. You've got the new Nicholas Bentner. Are you happy with that? <laughs> it's better, it's better. It's new and improved. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm saying to you, you've got the new Bentner. You happy is with it, that? Is it new and improved? We'll see. Such is life. All right, boys, this was a great bonus episode. I appreciate everyone for coming out. Bonus. Um, not the plan, but it'll do. Make it a plan. It'll it'll make do. it work, it's man. Not, yeah, man. Do you know, of mice and men, say the best laid plans. Of mice and men. If you was in um, mice and men, what character would you be? And Crook- why is it there's Lenny? There's only one black guy there, Crookie. I thought you was Lenny. Nah, bro, there's only one black guy. Lenny and George. I don't know I want to tell my... Which ones are attending the rabbits? I want to tend the rabbits. What's this called? That's you don't know. Let, you I don't never know did it. Men. What did I did? You never read book. that book in school? No, nah, I did another book. Huh? Little Rascals, Little Rascals. There you go. Lenny and George. Little Rascals, don't they? Channel you. <laughs> Filthy at five. Leave us your predictions in the comments. Let us know if you want us to do more predictions episodes because we probably won't. We'll do them live on Twitch. Oh, yeah, yeah, that the rest work. of the season. Predict. Thank Filthy you guys, man. Dot com. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for coming, PK. Good luck this weekend, man. Thank you, man.